What's good, YouTube? You already know it is your boy Triple N, and we're back for another car reaction. It looks like the the agents are getting another structure box with new support, which is really hype because I was a big agent fan back in the day in my high school days. I really loved playing agents, and it was just so fun. So the fact that they're getting another structure box and they're getting support just makes me happy. So let's go ahead and read them. Master Flare Hyperion. Hyperion's back as a Synchro, as a Light Fairy. Level 10, 3200 attack, 2600 fix. Takes one tuner and one non tuner fairy monsters. You can only use this first, second effect once per turn. You can send one agent monster or one monster that uh, specifically lists the sanctuary in the sky. Put your hand deck or extra decks of graveyard to the space. This card's name becomes that sick monster's original name or replace this effect with that monster's original effect. I guess this could be mixed with other, like, Sanctuary of the Sky deck because uh, there's a few decks that go for the Sanctuary of the Sky um, So that's actually really cool uh, I think uh, there's wasn't there just like a counter trap deck that's based around Sanctuary Sky. I used to have it back in the day I don't remember but this could go with that so that's actually not bad you know that's kind of cool so not a bad second effect is when your opponent activates a card or effect quick effect you can banish one fairy monster from your hand or graveyard then target one card and field manage it i don't like the fact that you have to wait for your opponent to activate something to do this because it makes it sound like you're trying to this makes it sound like it's supposed to be a negate effect but it's not because you're banishing a card so that effect is kind of bad but you know banishing cards is not bad sometimes uh, I kind of wish it didn't target either. I feel like if you're going to have an effect where it's, you're going to have to chain off your opponents anyway, I feel like it shouldn't target. I feel like you should just banish a card. I feel like that's what it should do. But, you know, all around it's still cool. It could copy other effects of monsters. So that's, you know, that's kind of cool. Um, the next card is Majesty Hyperion. So it's a, a Majesty Hyperion. It's a dark monster. Ooh, a dark fairy. Uh, level 8 with 2100 attack, 2700 defense. You can only supposed to summon this... Uh, by the first procedure of this card's name once per turn, you can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard by banishing one, uh, the agent monster from Hanfield or graveyard, so it has that effect, that's cool. Um, I think Hyperion had that effect too. Your opponent, uh, takes any damage you would have taken from battle involving your fairy monsters instead. I think that's, does the Sanctuary of the Sky do that? Makes it to where, uh, no, no, Sanctuary of the Sky makes it to where you don't take damage. From battles of all the fairies, but this makes it to where your opponent will take battle damage of all of your fairies. So that's kind of cool. So instead of you taking any damage, just in case Sanctuary Sky is not on the field, I think even with it being on the field, your opponent takes that damage, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, third, once you turn, you can banish one fairy monster from your hand or graveyard, then target one card from either graveyard, banish it, and if Sanctuary Sky is on the field or in the graveyard, you can activate this effect twice per turn. So you can banish cards from the graveyard out of either you or your opponent's graveyard. And if Sanctuary Sky is on field or graveyard, you can do it twice. That's not bad. If it was a, it would be better if it was a quick effect. If it was a quick effect, this would be so much better because it would be like, well, it wouldn't be like call by the grave. It would be somewhat close to it though because you could stop your opponent from doing certain things by getting rid of some of their stuff in the graveyard. You might even be able to like further your own plays by doing that too. So eh, it's okay. It's not all that, but it's, it's okay. And the last card that they revealed for the day is the Agent of Life Neptune. So we got Neptune. He's a Light Fairy, level 1, 0 attack, 600 defense. You can only use its first and second effect once per turn. You can discard this card, switch some of one Agent monster from your hand or graveyard except the Agent of Life Neptune. But it cannot be tributed until the end of your opponent's turn. If Sanctuary Sky is on the field or in the graveyard, you can switch some of one Hyperion monster instead. So that's cool. It's a simple summoning. This would probably be a 3 of. A 1 for 1 target. Uh. No, 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 because you discard it. So you don't need to summon this. Why would you summon this? I'm stupid. So it wouldn't be a one for one target. But you would play three of this just so you, cause you can summon multiple agents. Um, and then if you have Sanctuary Sky on the field, which you should, or in the graveyard, you can summon Master Hyperion. Or you can summon a Hyperion. So, that, you know, that's not bad. Um, second effect. If this card becomes banished, you can add one Sanctuary Sky. So this will, this will go hand in hand with this. Um, this will go hand in hand with this because you can banish it and then... Uh, you can banish this with that other, uh, with uh, Ma Majesty Hyperion's effect, get you some Sanctuary Skies if you need it. So overall, I think this, I think these support cards are cool. They don't do anything too, too crazy. I still like Master Flare up here. I just wish the second effect was like, 
I don't know. I wish it was non-targeting since it's not a negate effect. But overall, I'm excited for the agents to come back. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think this is cool that the agents are coming back? Let me know if you ever liked the agents or if you ever played the agents. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know how y'all feel about it. That's going to be the end of this video.